The Canyon City Commission has passed a new ordinance that will provide property tax exemptions for qualifying childcare facilities with it going into effect next year. Thanks for joining us, everyone. KMR Local Force Jack Kessler has more on what that means for Canyon families. That is from your local election headquarters. According to the city's ordinance, child care facilities will no longer pay the city's ad valorem property taxes for real property used for child care purposes. The ordinance will also grant tax exemptions to qualifying child care facilities under Senate Bill 1145. And they have to be qualified facilities. Uh, at this point, there's two in Canyon that would qualify for that. Uh, but um, just good quality health care is something that's cr just critical uh, for working families. And if that gets short for some reason, just really creates a hardship on those families. Uh, but it really affects our economy as well. Emerald Area Foundation Senior Vice President Carol Lee Clay says that these tax exemptions provide a buffer for child care facilities. Child care facilities work on a very thin margin. So anything we can do to help them improve that, that margin is, is good. It's not going to be enough to fix the problem for sure. Um, there's still a lot of problems with access and price for parents and what the child care workers are getting paid. It's really hard to keep child care workers, but what it does is gives them that little bit of buffer, hopefully that will help them be able to retain some of their child, their workers as well. The Emerald Area Foundation in May highlighted that many families around Texas and the High Plains region struggle to find affordable, high quality child care options and that many counties in the Texas Panhandle are considered child care deserts. When people can't get affordable access to child care, they can't go to work. So when we have, that's really important for our municipalities to have full employment. And a lot of these people are not going to even show up in our unemployment numbers because they're no longer looking for work because they don't have access to child care. So it really helps us um, get our people back to work and stay at work. In June, the Potter County Commissioner's Court approved a 75% property tax exemption for child care facilities. Now, officials have noted that qualifying child care facilities must participate in the Texas Workforce Commission's Texas Rising Star Program with at least 20% of the total number of children enrolled at the facility to receive subsidized child care services through the Texas Workforce Commission's Child Care Program. Live in studio, Jack Hester, KMR Local 4 News. Andy? Jack, thank you. According to city officials, child care facilities must apply for the upcoming exemption by filling out a form entitled 50-844 on the Texas Controller's website. The application is open with an annual deadline of May 1st with yearly openings for new facilities to apply.